going on amc nation john wick sniping back again and uh, i want to place a call to interactive brokers now we know it's not a common uh brokerage that people talk about they are up there in one of the top i guess five or ten uh but it's good to call these uh less known ones less known than fidelity td ameritrade and, and so on uh, because you might get somebody that is willing to talk so to speak before i get on this call though i just want to let you guys know that follow me uh, pretty closely and are happy with my content I want to let you know that my content is starting to strike some nerves starting to hit some nerves somewhere because i'm getting some weird commenters some guy named pepe is on my comment uh on my comments talking about he knows my name, he knows my age, he'll go to the basketball court, and he has some other guys there that I guess are aligning with his comments. So I must be doing something right, folks, because now you start getting the fear mongers to come in. And guess what? They're backing Lou. So you guys don't want me talking about Lou, but let me tell you something. If his goons start commenting on my, my channel, I'm going to be coming more for him, even, even more than I have been. So, not to waste too much time with that garbage, hold on for a second. So the number that I'm going to be using for interactive brokers is 1-877-442-2757. Welcome to Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers, this is Alex speaking. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, I was uh, thinking about opening up an account with Interactive Brokers, but I had some questions. Do you have a trader available? Okay, um, so I am possibly going to be transferring my um, securities over from another firm to your uh, firm. Is there a charge for that on your end? We don't charge a fee, but we don't cover any fees of sending institution charges. Okay. Um, all right, so I just have some uh, general questions and... Specifically, I am calling because I own AMC and uh, there's a lot of information going on with that particular stock and uh, there's some information out there that, you know, that is saying that if the share price goes up uh, drastically, let's call it, um, that like free app uh, brokerages may not be able to actually pay everybody out. So it's kind of like put fear and I guess some of the investors investors as minds on, you know, sticking with those uh, free app brokerages. So I guess a lot of people are trying to and myself included trying to transfer over from from, you know, those uh, apps over to, you know, a more reputable brokerage. Okay, so is this is this talk like not anything to worry about? Well, I haven't heard of anything like that, but I wouldn't be able to speculate on something like that, though. Okay, is is this like meme stock thing? Is this like, is this a thing? Like, I'm I'm confused. I'm just trying to like. I only invested in it because I heard like online and on the internet, you know, on social media, like oh, there's like a big short position or whatever, and, you know, potentially, you know, the price can really skyrocket up. Right, so we are a self-directed brokerage firm, so we don't, you know, like teach people how to trade or comment on things like that. Can't comment on things like that, okay. Um, may maybe I can ask you this then, like, because there's some of the things that I've heard of, like, is there a such thing as a dark pool? Oh, so that's a real thing. And that some of the orders, what, they get routed to a dark pool? Yeah, so you can, if you're on the, the pro version where you pay a commission, you can, you know, um, configure it that way. So if you want it to go through a dark pool or you don't want it to, but yes, there are, that is the thing, yeah. Is that is that, like, legal? Because isn't that, like... I guess what what I've heard is that the lit market is, you know, what we see 
all day long from you know the retail investor kind of sees the lit market the price for instance like it's fluctuating at $19.88 currently is a dark pool is that not reported to that market immediately are they doing like their own thing there right I mean, it's a bit complicated but yeah there are certain you know mark banks that aren't necessarily required to list it or um you know to list their trades or they, there might be like a delay in it so it is a bit more complicated but dark pools are illegal illegal they are illegal yes oh but it's happening but it's illegal that's crazy no, I, I said it is legal it's, it's not illegal oh it is legal oh okay all right, I didn't, I didn't even know. It's, a, it's, just, it's a weird name to give a legal uh, process, a dark pool. <laughs> uh, um, something else that I've heard of is, is like naked shorting. Like, that's allowable? Well, if you short a stock, you do have to have cash to cover it. You know, you can do part of that on margin as well. Yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, if you have a margin account, then so for instance, like you guys will loan out the shares if you have a margin account. So if I own ten thousand AMC shares and I'm on margin, you you can loan them out, unbeknownst to the the actual owner. Well, if you want, to, so that that's separate. But if you want to loan out shares for someone to borrow, uh, you have to actually enroll in that program. Right, right, right. Is there is there currently any shares to loan out for AMC? Are you you guys have shares to loan out? If I wanted to take a short position, uh, for that, shares available. Is there like a particular amount or is, is it like limited? Well, it's about one and a half million. One and a half million, okay. And what's the uh, margin requirement for that? Uh, to short. Uh, it's an initial short. Uh, 200 percent and then it would drop to 30 percent after you hold it for more than a day so 200 percent initially hold it for more than a day drops down to 30 percent yes uh, do, is each broker have a different requirement or is that across the board because i've called other brokers one uh yeah. one of the brokers had it at 400 percent right some brokerages might have higher requirements for stocks you might have higher requirement. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure this, this situation out because uh, it's driving me crazy with social media and stuff like that. It's very hard to get any sort of information with this. I'm just an average guy <laughs> trying to get rich like the rest of the world, and I just fell upon this, and I don't know much about it, and I'm just trying to find out as much information as possible to kind of justify my investment in this security. No, that, that'll be it. I thank you very much for your help, though. Yeah, thanks for calling and have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. So there you have it, guys. Um, some of these calls, I don't know if they if see me coming or who knows at this point, man, because some of these guys are kind of like, or some of these people, because there have been women too, they've, they've kind of been sounding like, uh, I know what this is, so I'm not going to call it out, but I'm going to act very nonchalant, very protocol. If you know some of the earlier calls that I did, they were very informative. Now, I can't rule out, too, that whoever's commenting on my, uh, on my message boards, on my videos, could be part of that side, saying, hey, look that guy up, see who he is. Like, this person literally commented on the comments in one of my videos he commented my name he commented my age he commented my employer so somebody's doing some sort of homework as you know i don't give that information out on social media so i might 
be going down the right path if this is what's happening and it just further solidifies my position man if, if this is the tactics that are going to be used you see on these calls what these agents are saying they're uncomfortable folks i'm sorry we're gonna have to hold amc for as long as it takes i mean i know i was shaking when i first came out um on youtube to talk about this but all of my research has only further solidified my position in holding amc for as long as it takes I'll have to keep paying interest on my credit cards and living a broke life, just like the guy said on my comment. He called me some a broke boy or something like that. Some guy named Pepe. So if you guys see that name, Pepe Cadena, I think it is, some chump out there, I guess, talking about me, you'll know he's trying to put a stop to these videos. He's very anti-AMC, and he's very anti-exposing all of these uh, dark secrets against the retail investor. But again, all I'm doing is providing you guys with more uh, assurance in your position. So at this point, I don't know about you, but whatever money I have, I'm going to keep buying and I'm going to keep holding. John Wick Sniping is out.